Dang, it's Deltia from Deltia's Gaming.com. And a year one celebration event has just been announced by the Elder Scrolls line. It's a really good one. Affecting Rothgar, Craglorn, and Imperial City. Places that are relevant today, especially with great chance to get extra loot. Let me share with you what they posted. I'm going to scroll down here, link in the description below if you want to read the event in entirety, but it's going to kick off this Thursday, August 26, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard, and run till Tuesday, September 7th, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard. You're going to earn bonus rewards, event-specific collectibles, event tickets, Rothgar, Craglorn, Imperial City, Rothgar, Veteran Maelstrom Marina, Craglorn, Dragon Star Arena, Imperial City, The Zone, and also the two dungeons, Imperial City Prison, along with the White Gold Tower are going to be affected by this. There's going to be an introductionary quest just like normal in the Crown Store to get this thing started. We're going to scroll down here and talk about the specific Year 1 coffers. Again, you're going to get these coffers when you complete quests within Rothgar, Craglorn, Imperial City Zones, and you can receive event-specific rewards and loot. Year 1 coffers, when you complete various activities in any of these three zones, you'll have a chance to receive a Year 1 coffer in addition to your regular rewards. I'm going to get to the three meaty ones straight away. Craglorn Trials, Dragon Star Arena, Maelstrom Arena, along with White Gold Tower and Imperial City Prison. So you're going to want to farm those for weapons and leaderboards and weeklies and everything you normally would do, but now you're going to be rewarded big time with these coffers. So you can also get some stuff from the coffers from doing daily quests, defeating delve and world bosses, opening up treasure chests, safe boxes, thieves, trolls, claiming a psychic portal, harvesting a harvest node. Remember Craglorn, Nurncrux is in Craglorn, so you're going to want to farm some nodes out there. And looting monsters or objects such as barrels, crates, etc. So let's scroll down here a little bit more, and when you receive a year one coffer, they have a chance to contain the following valuable items. Crafting material, Imperial City key fragments. Keep in mind, this might be very useful to collect the monster helms that are down there if you haven't got a chance to get them yet. Style items for the styles found in Rothgar, Imperial City, and Craglorn. Zone gear set items, transmutation crystals, always need a million of them. Valuables you can sell to the vendor for gold, motif or motif, chapter style pages from Rothgar, Imperial City, and Craglorn's Odes, including Yokudin, Celestial, Loragata, Trinimac, Ancient Orc, Malakath, and Zifskin. Some old, super awesome styles. Pages for new old Orsinium weapon style, pages for Maelstrom Arena weapon style, pages for Legion Zero Vigil style. Look at that puppy! Showing off those legs, a little lightning effect. This thing looks really ju- Oh, whoa, whoa, look at that. Okay, that style looks pretty good. The helm is nice. Look at that. Good job on the animation, Zoss. Also note, take heed. The first time you complete a daily quest in Rothgar, Crag, or Imperial City, you'll receive a glorious year one coffer, which is guaranteed to contain a motif chapter style page for the new old Orsinium weapon style, and an incentive for you to get on and do this every day. Here is the big information, bonus rewards. In addition to the year one coffers, during the event period, the following activities have bonus rewards. Double reward boxes from all daily quests in Rothgar, Imperial City, and Craglorn. Increase resource node rewards, not including those from fishing or crafting materials obtained from creatures. So Craglorn, you're going to want to scour for every iron ore you see. Bonus loot from world bosses, dungeon bosses, and delve bosses. Bonus loot from chest in Maelstrom Arena and Dragon Star Arena. If you've been missing that Inferno Destruction Staff, or if you've been missing that Maelstrom Arena bow or something from DSA, now is the time to run it over and over and over. Bonus loot from bosses in Craglorn, in addition to earning two coffers for the Trials Weekly Quest. This is going to be fantastic. Keep in mind, some of that Trials gear from Hellraw and some of the early ones like AA are very, very relevant to today. Bonus Telvar stones earned in Imperial City. So now would be the time to collect that Telvar to get those shoulders for the new monster helms or material, powerful assault, some really juicy item sets down there. And now would be the time. If you don't like PvPing so much, don't hang out in the districts. Go below in the sewers 
It's a little less sweaty down there. There's also event tickets. You can earn up to two event tickets per day by completing the following. One event ticket for completing a daily quest in Rothgar or Craglorn. One event ticket for completing a district quest in Imperial City. Note that Rothgar daily quests are split between the city of Orsinium and Morkul Stronghold. The event timer resets at 2 a.m. Eastern Standard, and if you earn new event tickets over the 12 limit cap, you'll lose them. Also, it goes on to talk about you're going to need to collect the face fragments, the first and second fragment, if you want to earn this fancy mount here. This event is your second chance at acquiring fragments needed to get this new mount shown in this picture. So if I were you, I would essentially go through and farm White Gold Tower, Imperial City Prison for missing um, item sets that you may need, especially like Spell Power Cure, Scathing Mage is really good for damage dealers as well, tank sets, DPS, and even healing. Dragon Star Arena, you gotta do it if you're missing some loot there. If you can't complete Veteran, you should be able to solo or duo with a companion or another player, normal mode. No, it's not going to be good as Veteran, but just getting the item effect is very, very handy, and some of those sets are still relevant. No proc set PvP specifically will allow you to use the bow, so PvPers out there, even if you don't like doing PvE, it's worthwhile getting in there. Trend Mills to Marina. Yes, the RNG loot table is huge and enormous, and some of you might be lacking one or two items. Well, now is the time to buckle down and get it done. If you're worried or you can't complete Veteran, Again, just do the normal. The difference between perfected and non-perfected in the weapons is minimal at best. Plus, the item effect is really what you want. So now would be the time to get it done. Thankfully, I have a bunch of clears and trifecta runs if you need some help, along with builds posts on my website. So the only thing lacking in this event is double XP, so I'll have to wait to level my PCEU character later, but I'm going to be doing a lot of trials, specifically Hellraw, to collect some of those items that I've been missing for quite a while. I might dip my toes into Sanctum Ophidia, hopefully not, but August 26th, this kicks off all the way to September 7th. I hope to see you in-game, and I appreciate you watching.